Hello and welcome back to Let's get our Let's get kicked in the face with goblins. No, that's not what this game is. It's it's Dwarf Fortress. Sorry, that was an awful, awful joke, but so I, I between last episode and this one, um took a few minutes to compose myself. Uh, it's not really working, I'm still kinda of freaking out. Uh because in the process of composing myself I decided I was gonna count all the invaders. And it didn't even really dawn on me when I was first looking at it because I was too busy freaking out over the trolls, but it says other. The others are classified as 80. Only like seven of these animals, eight of these, are, you know, we have one, two, three, four, five ravens. Um, this weird dwarf, the one who went crazy, and the giant toad. It says eight things. So we have 72 invaders. 72. Eight of those being trolls, which I took the time to look up, and they are apparently uh, living battering rams because these are building destroyers. So what these will do, they don't crash through um, raised uh, bridges because those count as walls, and building destroyers cannot bust through walls. But if they get inside, they can easily break through the doors and the hatches, and it's just, it just spells all kinds of trouble. Uh, but continuing on my little freak out, um, so, that's eight, eight trolls. We have 32 goblins. 32 goblins, and 30, and each one of them on a mount. So it's 32 goblins, 32 mounts. Um, out of those goblins, they're all pikemen, except for they have two commanders, one leading each front. So we have an elite goblin crossbowman. <laughs> and since he's an elite crossbowman, he can shoot right through those fortifications. So we only have to worry about the one, but almost every shot is going to hit. So he's just going to... And since bolts pretty much ignore armor, it doesn't... I mean, they do only have leather armor, but it doesn't matter because bolts will tear right through most armor anyway. Um, so he's gonna... hope like, He's probably gonna chew through my city guard, which I hope he's not, but he probably will. And then the other one was the Mace Lord, and it says Mace Lord and not Mace Men, so he is, like, at least Master Class, I think is what that means. I didn't bother to look it up because... I'm already <laughs> stressed out enough. Um, so yeah, so that's 30. So if you're keeping count, that is 8 building destroyers, uh, 30 pikemen, um, a crossbowman, and a mace lord. And then out of the mounts, because I counted those two, we have 14 jabberers, um, 9 cave swallows, and 9 elks. Or elk birds. Whatever. Um, the good news is, is, the only ones that can fly is the Cave Swallows. The bad news is, is, apparently Cave Swallows are pretty damn tough. So, I hope they decide, you know, not to fly over, because if they do, they're probably gonna mess my military up. Um, Jabberers, as I was, lo I, I was looking up online, apparently, um, they're pushovers when it comes to traps, but the wiki actually recommends using traps instead of your military, because apparently they can just tear through dwarves. Uh, military or not, no problem. And apparently the elk birds are off, so we're gonna have just a really, just a real bang up time trying to defend ourselves from this. <laughs> I hope I hope we make it through, but um, the initial it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um, the only thing I can really think is that since the last siege failed, the goblins were like, "All right, that's how you want to play it." Uh, I probably shouldn't have let as many, uh, all those goblins that got away, I probably should have taken the time to hunt them all down, because, apparently, <laughs> before when I was gloating, I was like, yeah, let them, let them run, and spread the, the news of my terribleness. Apparently they did that, because they came back in force. They are not messing around, man. So we are in trouble. <laughs> big, big trouble. Um, let's actually see how many of my... My guy's got hit, so that's a dog, so he doesn't count. Uh, so one Marsdorf is already... Oh god, a crutch required? Uh, SX, what is SX? Cannot stand. Yeah, so... He only, he only got hit once, but he's already crippled. <laughs> um, let's see, who else got hit? Uh, that's... Oh, one of my sheep got beat up earlier. Um, that is... Clothier. What's wrong with this guy? Okay. Oh, that's the one that showed up without a hand. So, okay, so so far we only have one casualty. He's not dead necessarily, but he's going to require some immediate medical attention. 
Oh man, you know, fucking sending that uh sending that vampire out is starting to look better and better. So uh, Alright. So uh, I'm just freaking out. Anyway, um Let's uh I'm, I'm gonna take a minute to, to plan out my strategy. I think what I wanna do is it's a terrifying thought. But I think I wanna open the gate. The same basic thing I was doing before. I want to open the gate to give them a viable way in and try to lure them because I really do not want to have to mess with those cave swallows. But these guys up here are really kind of scaring me because I, I don't really know what they're doing. I mean, they came from this direction and purposely moved this way at this diagonal. So I don't know what they're doing. I mean, there's no way in up here aside from, you know, those guys that can fly. So I may honestly want to rethink my, my open air training room. Um, man, we are in. <laughs> this could be this could be this could be the end of our fortress. I really hope it's not. But you know, I mean, we we don't even have our, we don't even have our Baron yet, guys. We're not. I mean, if we overcome this, I'm gonna be super excited. Um, our best bet is to you know try to thin out their numbers with these, you know, just open this, let the uh, Stonefall Traps do their work, close it, send in my Brood Squad to mop up, get them out of there, and then just, you know, keep doing that over and over and over again. I really wish I had some self-resetting traps now. Like, some kind of, uh, like, weapons traps, or, or I, I would even settle for a lever-operated spear trap, to be honest. Because um, having to wait for these guys to manually reset these these traps is gonna be it's gonna be tedious but um, I may even have to draft some more dwarves into a real quick real quick military another squad just you know anything to fend these guys off but I mean I don't know I don't know we'll have to see what happens I'm, I'm gonna keep the brute squad up here for now just in case these guys do decide to fly over um, I hypothesize that a lot of these babies that the military has are not going to make it. This is going to get real ugly real fast, but let's go ahead and unpause it and see what happens. So these guys are just hanging back and chilling. I don't really know what they're doing. I should probably keep an eye on these guys. Man, this is going to get real tedious. Okay, doors open. Here comes... One dead, nice. So that stonefall trap killed that, killed that troll. That one dodged it. Okay, so they're hurting. Let's go ahead and close this and try to catch some of them. Man, 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 man. Okay, so. The other guys, instead of flying over, they are coming around. There's none up here, so that's that's good. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and check the video real quick just to kind of make sure, because I really this would be an awful time for it to start messing up. All right, so um, just check the video real quick. Everything seems to be uh, on the up and up. Um, so it looks like. Just a real quick recap. Um, so we've managed to kill two trolls uh, with stonefall traps, which is nice. Um, we have two un that are unconscious. Uh, this guy and this guy right here. Um, but this one's unconscious from getting shot with bolts, whereas this one uh, had a boulder dropped on his head. This one is not unconscious, but he is nauseous, it looks like. So like, if we check the wounds, yeah, extreme pain. Uh, he's had his entire left foot or left leg. Well, not the entire left leg, uh, just the upper leg and the foot crushed. His upper and lower body is uh, heavily bruised. Um, so yeah, so we're doing we're doing all right. More than uh, half of the trolls are either incapacitated or outright dead. Um, we still we still have three more to deal with though. Um, something else like while, while I was checking the uh, um, like while I was checking the recording, something else that I looked at, something that I just wanted to show off, or not show off, but really show you and cry about. 
So this is the Goblin Elite Crossbowman. And remember how before I was saying that everyone, since he's an Elite Crossbowman, every one of his shots is going to count. This is what I was talking about. So there's only one page, and he's fired three times. And all three have struck true. So the first one, and he's shooting iron bolts too. Oh, I didn't even see that till just now. Okay, so the first one uh, hit hit my Marsh Dwarf in the lower body, bruising the muscle um, and bruising the gut. So nothing too serious, but it was enough to make him sick immediately. <laughs> uh, my Captain of the Guard got hit in the upper body and bruised, but it's it's nothing too serious. It doesn't even show up as actually being hurt. And then the third one hit that same that first Marsh Dwarf again in the uh, in the lower leg. Uh, chipping the bone, so a chip's not too bad, um, but it has torn a tendon, so that's why he can't. Oh, a ligament and a tendon. Um, so, so that's why he can no longer stand, and he's probably in the infirmary. I haven't actually checked it yet, but I don't see him up here anymore. Yeah, see, there's only the one. What does that blue one mean? Next, stunned, extreme pain. Okay, no, he's still up here. I was hoping they took him down to the infirmary already. Alright, um, I think I told them to close... No, they haven't told them to close this yet, so go ahead and close this. Um, so that should be enough. I mean, two... Two trolls, even though they are, you know, heavily incapacitated, is, is probably more than enough for my, for my dwarves to handle. So that third one's probably going to get in before this door shuts. Well, let's just kind of see what happens. Oh, maybe the door will shut on him. That'd be nice. Oh no. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send in our. We're gonna send in the brood squad to finish off these two. These two trolls. Oops. That crossbowman is leaving for some reason. For some reasons. Where are you, Brute Squad? It's unpaused. They're just... They're just chilling. Don't chill. Come on, get down here. Okay, how about you move down here? How about that? We feel like moving. Do you feel like killing? Ah, not now, Bubba. Animals. Animals! They're so adorable and so irritating at the same time. Unlike goblins, who are not adorable, but irritating. Come on, guys, get in there. I know he's a troll, and troll is scary, but he's unconscious. Or heavily wounded or something. Come on, get in there and ruin his day. Don't be pussbags. This is why you are decked out in iron gear. Okay, let's actually double-check to make sure... doing but they're scaring me okay so two trolls down three trolls down four trolls down four trolls down awesome okay so we got to get them out of there um, where's my mouth there it is so these guys got to get out um, let's actually see how many of these traps that they have set off This one looks like it was triggered. That one's fine. That one's triggered. That one's fine. Dolomite pebbles. Why are there dolomite pebbles? What about that one's triggered? That one looks like it might be triggered. Oh, okay. So I'll let them get out of there. We're going to take the military alert back to inactive. So my guys can get up here and reset these traps. Uh, we're going to hide these troll corpses. Well, at least from us. I mean, the other people will be able to see them still. There's also a key of... No, we're just going to leave it. So 
So we're doing okay. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing. Hanging back, maybe? Gonna go kill the, the friendly who's just hanging out up there? Okay, so two more trolls incapacitated. Um, actually, let's go ahead and put this military alert back on. Because people are far enough away to where these... these this troll's not gonna do anything. Um, these two might get in, but uh, no, 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 because I don't want to have to deal with those. I need them to reset those traps. But they probably won't because they're still partying. Okay, now they're going somewhere. doing? Please be resetting the traps? The mark stores are doing alright. Um, yeah, I don't know where they're going. The siege is still on. Well, no, I do know where they're going. They're gonna go ruin this guy's day. But... Alright, so we are down to 76 others. Four trolls dead. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we still have quite a bit of guys to deal with, though. So, not out of the woods yet. Wrong hotkey. Alright, guys, get up here. Reset these traps. What? Reset them? It looks like this guy took a couple of hits. Yeah. This pikeman is wounded, and the jabberer? Yes! Okay, so we've tore up that jabberer pretty bad. Um, I'm beginning to think the wiki is a liar, because, well, I don't know. I guess they're not actually in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're just getting shot with bolts. Um, but these are all... These guys are doing a pretty decent job for not having it, for not training on anything. Um, is his lower left leg gone? I, th I think that's what brown means. It's the... He's been chopped off. His lower left leg is broken, or right leg. His lower right leg is bruised, his left cheek is bruised, his lower body is bruised, his pancre pancreas is bruised, lower left leg, his spleen is bruised. Um, uh, no. What does that brown mean? Maybe if I go to his description? Uh, Z? No, I was just in his description. Well, uh, whatever. What's wrong with this guy? Wow, this one's really messed up. So, um, okay, here, here comes the guy to reset the trap. All right, so what I'm going to do, because this is taking a while and I don't want to pad out this whole video, which is nonsense, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Once the traps are reset and, I'm, and I go on another attack, I'll come back and start recording again. But for now, um, I'll go ahead and cut it. Hey, guys, so... <clears throat> Not, not actually attacking yet, still waiting for those traps to be reset. But while I was waiting for them to be reset, and I was, I was looking through, um, you know, the, the carnage in, in that little hallway, um, I came across something funny, and I just wanted to show you in the, in the um, combat report. Um, so this is one of the trolls. Um, as you can see, my Mark Storves did, did a pretty, pretty decent number on him. Uh, mostly bruising, but apparently, if you get hit in the lower and the upper body enough, you know, bruising um, apparently makes you really sick even if you're a troll, which is nice. Um, so, you know, this is the first page. He, he gets he gets sick, and he, he throws up a lot, and, you know, um, then this is where he gets inside. And here's the first block. He falls on his left leg, um, pretty much breaking it. Shatters the bone, shatters the bone, bruises the fat, you know, blah, 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 blah. So here it is again. And then he becomes conscious, and then <laughs> here's where my... Here's where my brute squad gets to him. And this swords dwarf, she is awesome. So she comes running in with it with her steel short sword. Uh, I may have forgot to mention I equipped them all with steel weapons. Um, <laughs> so she goes she goes and she hits him right in the head. Um 
and it lodges in the wound and she manages to pull it out and then hits him again and severs his head just you know just just off off like off with his head just takes it right clean off so it's pretty awesome pretty awesome uh, troll can't do much if he's if he's missing a head um, <laughs> I like how loses hold of loses hold of but this is like um, a hood and a cap he didn't lose hold of him he, he lost his head but yeah, so I just thought that was funny. Just just wanted to share that with you. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it looks like this video is gonna run a little long. Um, I, I try to keep them try to keep them relatively short for for LPs. So I'm I'm probably gonna end this one here. Um, I hate to do that to you in the middle of the middle of the fight, but you know, whatever. I mean, I, I don't I don't really want to pad it out to be to be super long, but that's that's how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, and we'll be back in the next video. So see you then.